Okay, boys and girls, let's get ready for math lesson 2.8. The materials you'll need for the lesson today are worksheet, pages 43 and 44, a pencil, your days of the week list, your months of the year list, your red and yellow counters, your counting chart to 120, and your independent practice pages RW18 and then CW18 is on the back. The standard for the lesson today is the student will use addition and subtraction within 20 to solve word problems involving situations of adding to, taking from, putting together, taking apart, and comparing with unknowns in all positions by using objects, drawings, and equations with a symbol for the unknown number to represent the problem. Now, today we're going to work on comparing. Now, we've been working on putting together and taking apart, but we haven't worked on comparing. That's today's lesson. All right, our central question is, how do I subtract from 10? Let's start with our problem of the day. There are eight coins in a pocket. Here's our pocket. Two of them are pennies. The rest of them are dimes. How many are dimes? Write a subtraction sentence. Well, you know I love to work out a problem using a model. So let's do that. All right, it says there are eight coins in a pocket. Two are pennies. All right, so let's put two pennies in the pocket. One, two. Let's put them at the bottom. All right, now, the rest of them are dimes. So what we need to do when we get through, we're going to have eight pieces of money, eight coins in the pocket. We've already got two. One, two. Now, let's just reach up here and get dimes and keep putting them in the pocket until we have eight coins in the pocket, okay? So we're going to start and say one, two, three coins, four coins, five coins, six coins, seven coins, eight coins. Now, there are eight coins in the pocket. Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two of them are pennies. All the rest of them are dimes. How many are dimes? Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six are dimes. Let's write a subtraction sentence. All right, we started with eight coins. Take away the two pennies. How many coins are dimes? All right, well, hold up eight. Take down two. One, two. How many do we have left? One, two, three, four, five, six. Eight minus two equals six. All right, good work. Now, let's take out our days of the week list. While you're getting that out, tell your study buddy how many days are in a week. Did you say seven? Is that what I heard? You're right. Count with me. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven. Now let's read the days of the week. Get ready. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Now I told you that next week in grammar, we're going to learn about why we have all these capital letters here at the beginning. So that's days of the week. Months of the year, same thing. They all begin with a capital letter. How many months of the year are there? Yes, 12. Read them with me. Get ready. January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. Okay? So there are 12 months in a year. And if we count... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. August gets the number ten. We're putting them in order and we count them. August is the tenth month. Or I, I mean October. I don't know why I'm saying August. October is the tenth month. Let's go back and look. There's October. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So October is the 10th month. Now, let's look at our calendar. 
all right? At the top of the calendar says the month, October. Why do we have this stuff here, up here? Because Halloween is in the month of October, all right? So, October is the month. What day of the week is this? Here's today's calendar piece. We go straight up and we see that the day is what? Starts with F. Excuse me, it starts with FR. FR is our blend that we worked on today in phonics. Um, how do you say FR? Fr, fr, Friday. Today is Friday, so let's get it right here. Friday. Today is Friday. I can't see that. October what? 9th. October 9th, 2020. Okay? If today is Friday, what was yesterday? TH is a... Um, Something we're going to learn about in phonics pretty soon, too. It says th Thursday. Yesterday was Thursday. Yesterday was Thursday. Today is Friday. What's tomorrow going to be? Look up here. Sat or Saturday. Tomorrow will be Saturday. Y'all got something special planned for Saturday? Okay. Repeat after me. Today is Friday, October 9th, 2020. Again, today is Friday, October 9th, 2020. Now, we need to write the date the quick way using just numbers. Now, when we counted to October, what number did we get to? 10. October is the 10th month, dash, nine, because it's the ninth day of the month, and then 20, that's the last two digits of the year. This says October 9th, 2020, so does this. It's just a shorter way to write it. Okay, let's count to 55, one more time. Then on uh, Monday, I mean Tuesday, we'll count to 60. All right, let's count. Let's see, let's make it, let's make them be black this time. All right, get ready. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I hope you're counting with me. Eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50. 51, 52, 53, 54, 55. All right, now let's start on 10 and count backward. Get ready. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Work. Now, today we're going to have some new vocabulary words. More than and fewer than. Okay? Um, what we're going to do today is we're going to learn a new way to subtract. Now, what we've been doing is uh, if we said Tom had five cookies. He ate two cookies. How many cookies does he have left? We took away two. One, two. Take it away. But sometimes when we need to subtract, 
We don't actually take something away. We compare. And to compare something means to see how it's alike or how it's different. And that's really contrasting. Okay, so we're going to say that, um, hmm, let's see. John had five bears. Two, three, four, five. And his bear, bears were red. John had five red bears. Joe had two blue bears. Let me write their names out here. This is John. I always like to label things. And this one's going to be Joe. Right, I said Joe had two blue ones. One. Two. Who's got more bears? John or Joe? John does. How do you know? Well, if I compare them, see, I've got them lined up. These two are like buddies. These two are like buddies. These up here don't have a buddy, do they? All right? So there's more bears in John's row. He's got more red bears than Joe has blue bears. And so, see, we compare to subtract. So we can say five, one, two, three, four, five, minus two equals how many right here? See, we can't count these because this one has a partner and this one has a partner. These don't have a partner. One, two, three. So John has three more bears than Joe. All right, now, one little secret. I'm going to go ahead and tell you. Whenever we do a word problem and you hear somebody say, how many more something than something or how many fewer something than something? That's a giveaway right there. That means you're going to subtract. You are going to subtract. All right, let me erase these and we'll do another one, okay? Let's see if I can, yeah, we can do it like that. All right, this time we're going to do a fewer than problem. All right, um, whoops, I got to put the marker down. I wasn't thinking. If you hold the marker, it writes on the board if you touch it. Okay, um, there were four blue bears on the shelf in the store. Four blue bears on the shelf in the store. Okay. There was only one red bear on the shelf in the store. Okay. How many fewer bears were on the shelf, red bears were on the shelf than blue bears? Okay. Let's figure it out. All right. Right now we can see this one has a partner. They could hold hands. Okay. Now, these are more. This is more. So down here, they, um, there needs to be some more red bears in order for it to be the same. Alright? So these are fewer than this. Alright, so we're going to write our subtraction sentence. How many blue bears were there on the shelf in the store? Four. Four blue bears on the shelf in the store. Minus we don't say take away because we're not taking the bears away. We're comparing. So we say four subtract one equals how many? So you don't count the ones that are partners. One, two, three. Or we could be counting the blanks down here up until we get to this point. One, two, three. If there were three more red bears, there would be the same amount. But because there's not... We say there are three fewer red bears than blue bears. Okay? So what we're doing is we're comparing two groups. And we're seeing how many more are in one group or how many less are in the other group. And in order to do that, you subtract. Let's 
So that's what we're going to be doing today. We're going to be subtracting, but we're going to compare sets. All right? Now, let's take a look. It says, how many more blue fish? How many fewer pink fish? Okay? Let's look. See, they've got them lined up. When you compare, you have to have everything just neat and tidy so that you won't get out of line or, or miss some. All right, so they got them lined up. And they drew a line. See, they got all the blue ones lined up. All the pink ones are lined up. They drew a line from this blue one to this pink one. That's a partner, a buddy. Partners, partners. Now, how many more blue ones are there than pink? All right. We, the, it's the same up to this point. So we, this is the same. There's the same amount. If I put it in this circle, there's the same amount of blue ones as there are pink ones. But I got some that are not in the circle. How many more blue ones do I have than pink ones? Two. One, two. Five minus three equals two. How many fewer pink ones do I have than blue ones? All right, if I had two more pink ones, is what they're really asking, then I would have the same amount. So there are two fewer, okay? Now, let's match up the butterflies to the flowers. Draw lines to match, all right, let's do that. Partners, partners, partners. Subtract to find how many fewer. All right, so we have four butterflies and we have three flowers. How many fewer flowers do we have than butterflies? All right, well, see, we can, we can circle this. That's how it's the same. But how many more do I need so that I'll have the same amount? I need one more flower, don't I? So there's one fewer flowers than butterflies. So we're going to put one there as well. All right. Oh, we got bugs in the next one. Okay. We have blue bugs and red bugs. Let's match them up. We'll use a different color marker. Partner them up. Okay. Now, we can draw a circle around this part because this is how it's the same. There's the same amount up here as down here. But this is how it's different, okay? How many fewer red bugs than blue bugs do I have? How many more red bugs do I need so that it'll be the same? I need one to go here and one to go here. So it's two. Six minus four equals two. So there are two fewer red bugs than blue bugs. Okay. Put my marker down. Okay. Let's look on the back. I like doing problems like this. It's fun. Let's get the blue one again. All right. Now, it looks like maybe that little creature at the top is a cat, and these look like panda bears. Draw lines to match. Partner them up. One cat, oh, how did I do that? Maybe that has something to do with it. I don't know. Okay, let's see what happened. Draw a line, partner them up. One cat is holding hands with one panda bear. One cat is holding hands with one panda bear. One cat is holding pan hands with one panda bear. Now, this is how it's the same. Because there are in this circle, there are three panda bears and three cats. It's the same. This is how it's different. How many more panda bears should I get in order to have the same amount as the top row? I need one, two, three. So there are three less panda bears than cats. Six minus three equals three. And this says there are three more cats than panda bears. Okay, let's look at the airplanes and the rockets. Match them up, partner them up. One airplane to one rocket. Well, that didn't take long. 
this is how it's the same. This is how it's different. There are four airplanes. There's only one rocket. How many more rockets do I have than airplanes? Count with me. One, two, three. Four minus one equals three. Okay? We have striped balls and polka dot balls. Pink ones and blue ones. Match them up. A pink one to a blue one. A pink one to a blue one. This is how it is the same. Now we're going to find out how it's different. Three balls minus two balls leaves how many balls? One. So there's one more ball up here than there is down here. All right. Oh, acorns and leaves. Let's match them up. One acorn matched to one leaf. Right, this is how it's the same. We have five acorns, but we only have three leaves. How many more acorns do we have than leaves? The ones that are not in the box. That's how it's different. Two. One, two. There are five acorns and only three leaves. There are two more acorns than leaves. We're comparing. Now we're going to draw. John had seven stamps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Sue had three. Well, you know what? I always like to do this. I want to say that J for John. That way I know whose is whose. All right, now let's put, um, Sue had three stamps. We're going to put S for Sue. And how many circles do I draw for her? Sue had three stamps, so I'm going to draw three. Now, when I draw this time, I want to line them up underneath these. All right, one, I'm going to draw it right underneath that one. Two, I'm going to draw it right underneath that one. Three, right under that one. Now, so I can look at this and tell. John had seven stamps. Sue had three stamps. All right, now let's partner them up. Now, how many more stamps did John have than Sue? What should I count? Count how many don't have a partner. One, two, three, four. So John had four more stamps than Sue. Okay? See, that sounds kind of hard when you just read the problem, but when you draw a picture, it's a lot of fun. It works just fine. All right, let's do another one. Jane had five pennies. All right, well, we're going to work out here because I took up a lot of space, but you could do it down here if you needed to. Jane had five pennies. I'm going to put J for Jane, five pennies. One, two, three, four, five. All right. Mark had two pennies. Let's put, what should we put for Mark? M. Mark starts with M. Let's put M. He had two. All right. Now I'm going to get underneath. What happens if I get right here and then I just kind of draw? See, it's going to be harder to match them up. So I need to be neat when I do it. So that I can match them up easily. Mark had two pennies. One, two. All right, match them up. One, two. How many fewer pennies did Mark have? All right, so Mark should have some to go right here, but he doesn't. So he's got one, two, three fewer. Mark has three fewer pennies. Drawing that model just helps immensely. All right, now, see what we're doing? We are comparing. We're matching them up thing for thing to see how they're 
the sets are the same or how they're different. And then we can figure out our subtraction problem. All right, now you're going to do the same thing for your uh, independent practice. Draw lines to match the circle to the square and then count how many more you need to make it the same. You've got three more circles than squares. Match the flowers to the bees, match the birds to the nests, the leaves to the beetles, and the squirrels to the acorns. And then you're going to circle. It says subtract and circle how many more. All right, either the answer is going to be two more or three more. Well, you see how it's different. It's right here, two. So two more is the answer. So you circle that. So you're going to write your number in the blank, and then you're going to circle whatever the answer is, either six more or three more, two more or four more, one more or five more. All right, now, oh, now this one's going to be good. There are seven candles. Somebody's having a birthday. There are five cakes. All right, so we got to write a subtraction sentence. The number that is more comes first when you subtract. And then your other number goes in the next blank. Seven minus five equals two. So there are nine balloons. Start your subtraction sentence. There are two presents. How many more balloons than presents? You can draw a picture if you need to. If you need to draw nine balloons and then draw two presents, well, I'd just draw circles. Then match it up and count to find your answer. Do that. That's a good thing to do. There are ten crayons. There are four pencils. How many more crayons than pencils? There are eight race cars. There are six motorcycles. How many more race cars than motorcycles? All right, boys and girls, practice this. This is a lot of fun. I love math. Good job.